Welcome to the property. Hey, you guys, I wanted to make a quick video to show you what we're working on today. So as you can see, we have these monster logs. These are monster logs, y'all. These are fur. Our property is covered with fir and cedar. Um, and so we ordered a mill. I'm gonna make a whole other video on that, but I wanted to show you what we're making today, which is a, a solar kiln. Um, and it's actually just gonna be like the poor man's solar kiln. So let's go take a look. What you making? Trying to make a at-home solar kiln dry lumber. The poor man's solar kiln. So as you guys can see, we're making a frame real quick. What we're gonna do is it's gonna be about 10 feet long because the mill that we have coming, it's gonna cut the boards to 10 feet. Um, and then we're gonna make it four feet deep. And we put it right here. Um, so that way it's kind of shielded from the rain we're here in washington it rains all the freaking time so the way that we're going to do it is we're just going to make a frame and then we're actually going to put on the side panels will be just this um foam insulated board i think we got each one for about 10 bucks at home depot the top then will be a 45 degree angle and we're going to put just clear corrugated plastic um and then we'll show you along as we go As you can see, we are coming along. So as of right now, we actually have the frame kind of done. Um, and the idea for this is to leave this whole front part open so we can easily move our slabs in there um, that we cut to on dry. It's gonna be really hard to kind of get them in and out of there. Um, so right now we're building a frame. That frame will be the top. It's gonna be a lid. And the lid will have corrugated um, that corrugated plastic on it. So then we'll screw it in place be super super easy i think i say that because i'm not the one building it but it'll be all right so we'll screw it in place and then that way um it's just easy we can unscrew it take the lid off access the wood we could put hinges on it but we've just decided to save a buck obviously you can see we're winging it type of people so we're just gonna we're kind of winging it huh babe oh yeah and uh, we're just kind of piecing some lumber together that we have laying around so don't need to spend a ton of money on it, but hey, use what you got. Hey, buddy. So. Yeah, we have ventilation here. So we put the fan. Yeah, ventilation above and below. Yeah, right here. Along. Yeah. So any water that comes up here will run down and drip off right here. And then, but we did get a fan that will uh, pop in there and that will actually move the air. So the idea would be that the sun's coming on from this side, uh, heating it up and then it gets nice and toasty inside. What'd you say it looks like, Pat? Mm. What does it look like? Ugly as hell. It's not. It's beautiful. I mean, it's, it's a temporary thing to get us working. So. Maybe I'll paint it. Well, this is a fan. This is a bathroom fan. It is to pull the moist air, warm air out during the day to help light it. So it didn't come with um, like attachments or brackets. So you know, we just did it the ugly way. That's what we're doing. We're winging it. 